but as we're not on the phone with him. So he asked me, what are you going to cook? What are you going to eat today? I said, I'm going to bake chicken and rice and peas. He says, you don't want to try something new. That's what the motherfucker says. You don't want to try something new. I said, no, it's a Jamaican thing because it is like a Jamaican culture. That's what we do. We cook rice and peas and chicken every Sunday. He said to me that I should not do chicken. He can cook something for me. I said, you can't cook. He says, yes, I can. He said. He's going to come and he's going to cook something for me. That's what the motherfucker said. So I said that, okay, then what should I get? And he started telling me to get the drumstick and what kind of seasoning forget for cook. Him say, I come over me and come cook. Me never invite him for cook. People, didn't I talk it on my TikTok live that I was going to go buy grocery to cook Sunday dinner? Didn't I tell you guys on my TikTok live that I was going to use the $200 that I have to go and cook my Sunday dinner? So how the fuck now I tell you to come over? And remember, before I went to the Walmart, I told the people on TikTok, look, we were even sitting down right here trying to order it on Instacart. Because I said, Van, you don't have to go order it on Instacart. It's easier. And then I end up go to Walmart and buy the stuff them. When I went to Walmart, I've been telling that I was going to cook my Sunday dinner before I left. When I reach at Walmart now, he's the one who says he's going to come cook for me. And he told me what and what to buy. You see, as soon as my blood clot reach at me, I'm just spread it on TikTok. So, oh, say, I'm going to come cook for me. That's why I'm glad I talk everything from the media. Because you're not going to come see a lie, me I tell you. And now... No, y'all motherfuckers, real. No, you see why I tell my life everything. This is the reason why I come and tell the life my business. So when people come on here to tell lie on me, my people them can't remember what go on. That's why I'm always going to forever tell the media my business. So when it comes down to the nitty gritty, nitty gritty, whatever it name, the people them we know who are liar. You see when him tell me, say I'm going to come cook for me, as me reach home, I just turn on the TikTok live and say, always say, see him so I say it. Always say, black the sound there, come in, what am I call liar? Black. Always said, he's going to come and cook for me. I told everybody on my TikTok live, every single body, I went live and I said, always said he's going to cook for me. Anyways, no. My daddy know, this is how the drama start. My daddy know, can't say blood clot. Owe. My text Owe I'm say. How far are you when you're coming? You know what him said? He's not about to sit down in any traffic right now because there's a lot of traffic on the road. Remember, I plan to cook my own Sunday dinner. You said you was gonna cook for me. And that time was about 3 to 4 p.m. And I was so hungry. Me eat look of food, but me did hungry like me did want to eat my proper dinner. So, if it was almost 4 to 5 o'clock to 6 o'clock, why should I wait on you or wait on the traffic to finish for you to reach here in the middle of the night? To start cook for me so i should be hungry and come make you cook for me when i could have cooked my baked chicken and my rice and peas already i could have been start cooking from 2 p.m anyways my daddy and me are weird may i get ignorant anybody on my tiktok can remember this um the today what date monday i went a sunday i went it up sunday sunday anybody that was on my tiktok can remember that i even got upset the day me I go on wallet. I was playing even my gospel. My daddy and me I go on wallet. And the people them I say, him soon come Vani. And me start cuss out blood clot. I'm a pause the gospel. I pause the gospel. I'm a start cuss, me start cuss, me start cuss. And me I say, I could have cooked my food already. 
I may have a day here away from you. I may start cuss the Sunday night, the Sunday day upon, upon TikTok. Anyways, I'm dead and my daddy and me are cleaning a place and I'm telling people they must say, Oh, we not reach it. Oh, we not reach it. If I make it look like a lie, me I tell the same I come. So I start to get mad and I say, I don't call him name. And I say, I'm not like, tell him nothing. I even start cuss them off. Come here, say, me even like, tell him nothing. Come and tell him one thing, I don't care. Keep it to myself. I start run them off from my life. I said, that's why I don't, that's why I don't tell you guys anything. Because I tell you guys that he was going to come Sunday and everybody in the comment section. How we don't reach it? How we don't reach it? I must say, all I need for going and stop calling him name. I don't like to tell you guys anything because you, you, you can't keep anything to yourself. I said that on my TikTok live. Anyways, no. My daddy, no one. My daddy had chill and everything. And he said he was going to come out of the shower. Let me block this bitch from my page. He said he was going to come out of the shower. So I text him and I said... I don't remember what I said. It's like I said, I was I, I was so mad. I said, like, best you leave me alone or something. I was so mad. I text him aggressive. He said that if you're going to behave like this, I'm not going to text you because we need to have a serious conversation when I come. Didn't I tell you I was going to come out the show or whatever, whatever, whatever. Anyways, him come now and me and him start talk. When him come, him come high as a... I've only got normal deny the baby and whatever, whatever, whatever. So I start getting upset again. So I never want, I never, me never want, um, I didn't say I'm not gonna do a DNA test, but any female when no say a one man you yeah, fuck, another man they yeah, breed for. And as soon as they talk about DNA, it, it lit me chip because me I say I are the only man yeah, fuck, and you only yeah, pull the stunts yeah. For, 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 for TikTok and for the media. You see, from the very first the very first moment when the chicken argument and the exposing and everything, he wanted to keep all of this low-key. But he's still not telling y'all that we're still fucking and we're still texting. So I don't know which girl him have out there when I want for know or him think me an idiot. So he is not he wants y'all to think that, look, I'm not texting Ivani. We're not friends anymore. I don't socialize with her anymore. That's why he's making y'all think. But behind closed door, you are texting me, sleeping on the phone. I have that on screen record, screenshot for, for hours, talking, having conversation. I'm going to show the messages. And fucking. Anyway, wanting a DNA test is still denying. You said that I can't be trusted, whatever. Anyways, the night when him come for cook, I call mommy. I call mommy. And I was telling mommy that how he wanted to do DNA tests. He was there laying down. And mommy said, nothing is wrong if he wants to do a DNA test. Any parent would want, any father would want to do a DNA test just to, um, to find out that, yes, the baby is... It's his baby, whatever. Nothing is wrong if you want to do a DNA test. So you know me and my skin a bubble for mommy too, you know. I did not deny it after not doing it. Then he, him did know what talk, but mommy asked him, say, are you ready for a child? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Whatever, whatever. Anyways, mommy did here. Mommy has said, nothing is wrong with he wanting to find out if it's his child. Nothing, nothing is wrong with that. After that, no, he was there. Um, he started cooking and everything. He wanted me in the kitchen with him cooking. I said, I don't want to come. That's how I know you don't even that's how I know he don't even care about me because I'm having morning sickness. I'm in my sickness mood. Why the fuck you want me to be in the kitchen with you? You're cooking. Why the fuck you want me to be in there? I'm, I don't want to be in the kitchen with you. He said, Okay, sit down then. I said, I don't want to fucking sit down. I just wanna be on my phone, laying down. Anyways, he's cooking the chicken and everything. I'm sitting right here on my phone. This is how I know that he's all about sex. It is a regret. Why did you fuck me Sunday night knowing that I was sick? You shouldn't even bring fuck argument to me knowing that I'm in morning sickness. I was sitting right here and you called me. You said, come here. And when I went into the room and tell me if I'm lying, when I went into the bedroom, you lay on the bed and I came and I lay there with you. You started kissing me.
started kissing you back. You started putting putting my hand. Okay. Okay, stop lying. I told you to lay down on bed. I grab your phone because you was okay. 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 Fine. Okay, because I'm not on that topic. That what you're talking about is nonsense. That's a petty thing. You grab my phone, tell me to lay down. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about when I sit here and you call me and you said come here. And you went into the bed and you lie down on the bed. And I went in with you and I lay down on the bed. You lay down like this, I lay down like this. You started kissing me. I started kissing you back. You put my hand on your stiff fucking dick. And I said, oh, you're horny. And you wanted me to suck your dick. And what did I tell you? I'm going to see if you're a liar. When you wanted me to suck your dick, what did I tell you? I say I'm not sucking your dick because you ain't sucking my pussy. It, we was done eating. I went laying down. You followed me. Didn't you kiss me? Got to kissing me. I said, <laughs> I've that on record too. Anyways. He, want, he put my hand on his dick. Well stiff. I said, you're horny. He wanted me to suck his dick. I said, nope. Let me see your comment too. Did I suck your dick Sunday night when you wanted me to suck your dick? I say I'm not sucking your dick because you're not sucking my pussy. From the day I went on live and I tell everybody that he eat ass and he eat pussy, he didn't want to suck back my vagina. Yeah. He didn't suck it back. So why the fuck you want me to suck your dick if you ain't sucking my pussy? Am I stupid? I ain't stupid. Anyway, you're such a fucking liar. You're getting blocked right now. I never said suck me up love what you said take my clothes off you're getting blocked from my page right now I'm not even gonna block you you're gonna stay because you know what everybody knows I'm telling the truth go find your gold teeth tell the bitches why you can't even go live because you can't find your gold teeth you should go live and show them your real tooth chaka chaka go live right now and show them your real teeth guys he lost his gold teeth that he spent fifty dollars on his gold teeth that he went into walmart or walgreens or Publix or any one of those fucking cheap ass store he went in he bought his gold teeth for fifty dollars and zero cents he lost it at work he can't find it back so that is the reason why he can't go live tell him to go live right now and when he go live look on his real tooth back to the story the motherfucking bitch ass nigga wanted me to suck his dick and i said no i ain't gonna suck your dick because you're not sucking my pussy and you know what happened we fucked and did we use a condom don't make no sense you tell lie because we have all the proof evidence. And people going to see how you're lying today. Did we fuck with condom? Nope. We did not fuck with condom Sunday night. And you burst off in me again. What you want to? What, 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 what you want again? Twin? You wanted to breed me again? One baby's on the way. You wanted to put another one in there? You came off in me again. No condom. You did not burst out. And for your, and when I was on my TikTok live, I said that, look, can I go live on my TikTok? Because I know he doesn't want me, he doesn't want to be in my TikTok live or nothing on my social media. So I said, I'm going live. Can I go live? But you do, I'm going to play the music. I told him I was going to play music on my tablet so that people won't hear him in the kitchen. Fine. I was being so honest. I went on my, he said, he, he said, no problem. You could go live. I went live on my TikTok. Nobody knew he was here yet. Nobody knew that he was here. So I went live. I started playing my music. I was playing with Shani. You want to know how people knew that you were here? You obviously you didn't want, obviously you wanted everybody to know that you were here. Because how the fuck you want to be off my social media? But I'm here on my live and you're bringing shrimps giving me to eat and chicken. Who the fuck would bring that to me? I don't have friends that come to my house. The only person as a friend or a man that know how my house is. They already know that you are coming, but they didn't know that you come for a fact. They didn't know that he came for a fact. Because when he came, I did not post that he came. I wasn't on live when he came. I could have been here on my live and nobody know that you were here. But you started bringing me shrimp. You wanted me to taste the shrimp. You wanted me to 
taste your chicken that you're bringing so obviously you wanted people to know that you were here and the whole comment section was like how is there how is the one giving you food how is there how is there when i'm sitting here eating you know what he texts me and says when i'm finished eating i could go back on my life and he gave me the water too thank you he texts me and he says when you're finished eating you can go back on your life so he wanted me off the live while I was eating. And I end the live. Ain't you on live no with drama and mixed up, bro. That 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 has nothing to fucking do with you. My drama and mix up has nothing to do with you. Fuck you, son of a bitch. That's why I said I don't want to be on your media. Bro, remember nobody wants you. I pick you up off a website nobody fucking wants you i picked you up on a website remember i gave you fame i was the one who let your tiktok blow and i could make you lose that shit <laughs> so don't play with me i was the one who let your tiktok go viral i was the one letting nice decent ladies in your dm because the bitches that you used to fuck they're like hippo big fat ass stink them big and fat so the little bitches that in your DM now that you didn't want to know, oh, Ivani is around. He was fucking me just the same. And he fucked me raw too. Anyways, back to what I was saying. After all of that been said and been done, where was I? Because this motherfucker be... um, Where I reach? Where, which part I reach now? Um, yeah, after he says, come off the live... He says, eat your food off live and then you can go back. Anyways, no, after that, no, I came off the live. I didn't went back on live. In the middle of the night, I couldn't sleep because around, when it reached to 12 a.m., 1 and 2 a.m., I can't sleep. Like, I'm uncomfortable. Those time of the morning, early morning, I can't sleep. So I wake up, made it I feel so bad. The amount of time I get up, I get up about 50 times and walk around because I never feel good. So anyway, I was there and I just turned on my life and everybody was like, Ivani, why are you not sleeping? I had about 500 to 600 people on my life. And they were like, why are you not sleeping? I said, I can't sleep. And then every girl in the comment was like, you're such a liar. You said that Owe was there and whatever. You know what I did? I went and I laid down and I said, Owe. And you answered. And the whole entire life knew that you was there big big evidence so what i can't understand how the fuck you don't want to be on my social media you don't want people to know that you're we're not dating but socializing you don't want people to know that you're socializing with me but off the media you are socializing with me how the fuck that work you sent me voice note yesterday saying that this is the same reason why I told you I can't deal with you no more. This showed me that I can't deal with you because I told you I wanted to do things off the media. I told you that when we're good and we're on good terms and we know that we're okay and can manage the media, we would be on the media. That Guys, I'm going to get my receipt and come back, okay? Let me come back. 